Welcome Firebird fans to Friday Night Hoops on February the 12th. I'm Steve Newen, alongside me tonight is Will Newen. Will, how are we doing tonight? It's another lovely COVID day. <laughs> Groundhog Day, isn't it? Every day is Groundhog Day at COVID. Well, tonight we have a great matchup between GMC's best, Fairfield, against one of GMC's other best, Lakota West. I tell you what, it's been a long time since I've seen these two teams top the, the uh, GMC standings, Will. Yeah, it's usually Mason and East over the last few years. Mason and East are second and fourth, so they're still right up there with West at three and Fairfoot at one, but it's nice to see some new faces. Yeah. What do you expect for tonight's game, Will? You know, I think it's going to be high scoring. West is the number one offense in the uh, GMC, and unfortunately the, num the last ranked defense in the GMC. So I think both teams are going to put up a lot of points. My stat for tonight, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say three-point shooting. West has got three players shooting over 40%, while Fairfield's top two scorers are 33 and 27 or something of that nature. So if Fairfield can shoot the ball well, then it'll be close. But if West shoots the ball well and keeps Fairfield from shooting it well, it'll be a blowout. Yeah, the starters for Lakota West tonight, Kelvin Turner, number two, uh, Malachi Irby, number four, uh, Milton Wamba, I think it's how you pronounce that. I'll have to take a, take a look at that. Obviously, West's leading scorer, Nathan Dudukovic, a sophomore, outstanding shooter. So as fun you to point watch. Out. Yep. And, uh, of course, the senior, number 20, Brady Weber, will round out the lineup for Lakota West. Starting for the uh, Fairfield Indians will be number two, Krim Deshaun, number three, Murphy Logan, number five, Mitchell Julian, number 24, Rogers Amir, and number 33, Coney Ray. Well, West comes out, or actually Fairfield comes out with the ball. Deshaun has the ball, passes it back. He's got the ball now. West is sitting in a 2-3 zone. You know, we saw that last time we did a West game. They were in a zone for a little bit of it. Some Rooks era stuff from a few years ago. Yeah. I'm sure you miss those days, don't you? <laughs> There's a strong move by number 24 for Fairfield Indians. Rogers Amir, but he misses it. Here comes West on the quick transition back. Brady with a great move inside. Oh, going to oh, finish with the offhand. Yeah, the bunny. He's got to make the bunnies. We talked about that in the JV game. If you don't make the bunnies down the stretch, you're in trouble. Fairfield takes a drive. There's Deshaun from the corner. Overshoots the rim. This is the Dukovic now. Under a little bit early pressure from Fairfield, too. Weber. Irby has the ball at the top. Across the Wamba. There's the Dukovic from deep. Boy, pretty good stroke, but just hits the front edge of the rim. This is Deshaun coming back. Inside. That's going to be a foul. Oh, a jump ball. Interesting call. Thought Brady went got a re for a reaching foul. Good look inside. Uh, yeah, he had the one hand on it. I'm not sure he had good possession of it, but the one hand was on the ball. Enough to get the call. That's all that matters. Yeah, yeah. This is Weber with the Dukovic. That's Irby. Right back. Turner now looking for an option. Dudukovic. Nice strong drive by Dudukovic. Good defense. Well yes. played. That was Logan 11. Woods there. Oh, 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 almost a nonchalant miss. This is Krim back over to Coney. I like this call by Lakota West to sit back in the zone. Make them beat you from behind the arc. Krim looking inside. Oh, that's, that's Murphy on the dribble too drive. Easy. Yeah, Went no right help on the other him. side. There's no help on the reverse side of that. This is Turner with the ball now. Oh, nonchalant pass. Great save there by Wamba. Inside nice the Weber. Cut. Great cut by Brady Weber. Milton Wambugu with a great pass. Is that how you would say it, Wambugu? That's my best guess. I apologize if I'm butchering that. We hear, uh, I don't know if we heard Coach Waddle pronounce it, but this is Krim from the top. Long three. West with the long rebound. This is Turner. Turner looking for a pass option. Takes it himself. Kicks it out. Irby for three. Nice Count shot. it. Good hit. It's a good driving kick. It's too easy. Draw the help side defense and dick it out. Yep, this is Dish Murphy for three for the answer. Wow. A little bit long. Great rebound there. Oh, what a That's nice a finish. Big move. Yes. That's a sophomore. Rogers. Right Amir Rogers. It's a big guy standing there, about 6'6 six, six listed on the sheet. Might be a couple of extra basketball inches in there, but he is tall. <laughs> Irby up top. 
That's Wambagoo. Both teams showing no fear to shoot the three. I think that's the seventh three in two and a half minutes. You can tell where the offense is going to run through for Fairfield right now. That's number 24, Amir Rogers. He's a good player. That's some good footwork on the spin move there. Amir, a sophomore, standing 6'6". Six, six. Well, 6'6", six, six sophomore. I wish I had 6'6 six, six when I was a 50-year-old man. Wait for my growth. <laughs> standing there at 5'7". I think it's coming soon. Yeah. This will be Turner now with the ball. Turner, a little fancy uh, dribbling, but almost lost it. Weber with the big little pick there. Well, that's oh, a wow. long three. Turner from deep. There's the big man. Outside. That's a jump ball. Yep. Good call. Good defense. Coney looked like he was a little indecisive on that attack, wouldn't you say? Dribble drive. He didn't know what to in. do with it. Yeah, he kind of came in. Couldn't make a decision on which side he wanted to go, and he just came straight at it, and that made it easy for defense. Yep. All right, inbounds in here for Fairfield. That's Krim now. He should shoot that at the top of the key. Good pass. Look on the Ended inside. And 24 again. we got to box him out. Wow. Can't leave him in there. Nope. Rodgers with a nice finish there. Put back. This is Irby on the ball now. Rodgers averaging 7.4 a game, but he's going to pass that in a hurry. Oh, boy. Wow. Big turnover. Ooh. I wonder if we have a replay on that because he got a lot of ball there on that one. Here it is. Irby here with a little bit of nonchalant again. It's too much dribbling. It's kind of with nowhere to go. Wow. The wow. Dugovich did hit that ball. Oof. All right. I think that's, a, that's a situational call right there. Yeah. Coney inbounds it to Krim. Krim goes back to Coney. Coney, the big man, going to dribble it down. Leaving Krim on the break. They're looking for three. There it is. They set that up for three all the way. This is Weber. Calvin Turner got caught sleeping, sitting at the block. We see why Weber's the uh, leading rebounder for West. Yep. Over nine a game, he's leading the GMC. The Dukovich, strong move. Dish. Dish. Oh, Weber couldn't finish that one. They're fighting on the inside. The Dukovic with a strong rebound. Nice, nice tuck move. underneath. You see him split the defenders. He is a hard worker. He does not give up. That's why he's so fun to watch. He's going to go play college ball somewhere, Will. He's We're got to. Watching. Just great skills, great instinct. Oh, wow. nice block on that one. Great block. You know, he did a nice job of using the rim to his advantage, too, watching the inside. The Dukovic comes in. See, the rim gets blocking him underneath. He has nowhere to go with it. has to come back. That's a fault on West defense, so I mean, standing wide working. open at the top of the key. Yep. Krim with the inside look to Amir. Man, this kid is good. Rodgers, no problem on that one. West coming right back at it. Wamagu looking for an option. Now back to Turner. Wamagu. Goes to the inside, kicks it out to Dukovic with a quick shot. Oh, good Weber with a great Brady rebound. Weber. Good power. Right back in. No fear, up and over the big man. Brady Weber with a great finish after the rebound. Yeah, we get to watch Weber grow since his freshman days. And I tell you what, a lot of confidence there. Strong moves. That's going to be the battle to watch tonight between him and Amir. Yep. Inside, back out. That's number four for. Fairfield, I think, 0 for 6 on three-pointers already. Is that right? 0 for 6 or 0 for 7. They certainly have no fear shooting, but 24 has got 8 of their 10, so I think they should keep pounding it inside and go with what works. Two minutes left in the quarter, and it's uh, now 10 to 9. Kick back out. Coney with a strong move. Kicks it back out on number 4, Pope. Pope at the top. Nope. West with a loose ball rebound. Wambagoo looking for an option. He's got both sides. He decides to take the wrong option on that one. Too easy for Amir to grab that, or not Amir, Coney to grab that one. This is Krim. Good ball screen defense there. West now in the man look. Well, ah, two, nope, two, two three zones. Yeah. They're pressuring more than I figured they would. You're right about that. They're putting pressure on the ball for sure. This is Krim with an option. Decides to take it in. No look. Coney now bringing it back out. He's got pulled behind him if he wants it, but he doesn't want it. Now he's going to dribble, drive in, take it himself, but he kicks it back Ooh. out. That was nearly a travel. Yeah, Krim up Kept top. Kept his pivot foot down. Quick pass in. That's going to be out of bounds on Fairfield. Good luck. We're just too strong. Almost hit the uh, news cameraman underneath the basket. That should show up to make news <laughs> just for a highlight reel. 
Here comes Weber, inbounds in the ball. He's got uh, Irby in waiting for the ball in the inbounds. Fairfield looks like they're still staying in a man right now. Turner. West has looked a little out of sorts on offense. This seems like their only offense is drive and create with Kelvin Turner, most plays. Here's the drive. There's the There's Turner. There's the block. Into the game for Lakota West is uh, William May Layfield now, number three. It's a good move by Turner here. Beats his defender, cuts it back across. But I think if you dish it there, number three, William Layfield, wide open for the layup. Turner. Get yourself that assist stat. Ben Minnick is coming in for Lakota West, number 21. Minnick, a sophomore, getting some quality minutes here. A couple of injuries, I think he's been brought up. I don't know if I remember him playing last week. That is how Amir Rogers steps out, and Brady Weber also steps out. I think uh, Little Coach Leon going. might be doing that the whole game. Yep. Right time to rest him. Coney inside. This is Krim on the dribble drive. Ooh, that's, got, a travel. Oh, that's a travel. That's a travel. There, there it is. is. Yep. One, too many steps. Yeah, got a little indecisive again on the inside. Here it goes. He takes the, tri the drive, comes in. Uh, what do I do? What do I do? Uh, I think I'll take another step. Can't take that extra hop. Got to jump stop it. Irby on the ball now. Let's see if West plays for the last shot. What are you thinking here? You're up one. There's no reason to pressure. Take the last shot, go into the quarter with a lead. Layfield. Don't get a five-second call, though. West trying to pick away from the ball a little bit more. Find an open ball. Turner. Turner's looking to drive again. Step back. It's an open shot, but it's not my favorite shot. No, I think I think you could have worked the ball a couple more times. Had a little bit of time, I think, drive inside and kick for an open three. A step back shot mid range is certainly just so so open, but it's not a great shot at the end of the quarter. All right, end of the first quarter, eleven to ten, Lakota West. We'll be right back. Hey, Cindy. Hey. Westchester wants to know, how do I apply for employment? Applications are online at www.westchesteroh.org. Uh, applicants can go there to see what positions are available. Uh, applications need to be completed, signed, and returned to Westchester Township. And that can happen one of two ways. They can mail it to 9113 Cincinnati Dayton Road, uh, Westchester, Ohio. 45069 or the second way to submit an application is by email which is hr at westchesteroh.org. If you have any questions you can always call us at 513-759-7217. If you have a question for Westchester Wants to Know, visit us at our website or one of our social media pages. Welcome back, Firebird fans, to Lakota West versus Fairfield. 10 to 11 um, in the first end of the first quarter, now starting the second quarter. I tell you what, Will, three-point shooting might be the stat of the game right now for Fairfield, just not making them right now. Nope, officially. I'm taking a look at the stats there. Fairfield is 0 for 6 officially. Mm. West 1 for 5. Interesting. West well, definitely underperforming, and Fairfield also underperforming, but not surprising given their season stats of the top two shooters at around 30%. Yep. This is Turner on the ball now. He's got Layfield as an option to the left. Weber on the top of the key, and he's got Dudukovic down under. I got I to gotta think Dudukovic has got to touch the ball more here. I agree. Wes has got to get the leading scorer involved. Yeah, because you don't want him to be cold going into the second half. You want him feeling the game. Especially against a top-ranked team, this game is going to be close. There's no doubt Fairfield knows that that's where the ball is going to go through. But here comes Weber, and a great drive in. Strong move. I tell you what, Brady's been coming up with this kind of uh, the third man in between Turner and Dudukovic, but he's doing a nice job of putting up the points. All right, this is uh, Coney up top. I always like to work inside out when you start the game, too. Starting the game off with so many threes, you're cold. You're not in the flow of the game. It's harder to make them. Yep, Coney over to Krim. Krim looking inside. 
West coming out of man now. A little bit more stale on the offensive side now. Fairfield trying to adjust to it. Back out to Coney for three. There's great, great touch. I tell you what, right in rhythm, nice stroke. Count it. Nothing wrong with that. Yep, Layfield. Turner. There's the Dukovic. Now good he's going to get involved. What a move. great drive. A little strong. Good drive by the Dukovic. Just a little strong. That was nearly a travel. Yeah, this is this is Brownston now from the wow. outside. Owen Denver Brownston. Proving me wrong, hitting two threes out of the gate. And coming off the bench. West has got to work on their transition defense. Having a man that wide open can't happen. Here comes Turner in the dribble drive. One man in. Pretty easy. That's a great drive. Yep. One on one. He's going to take that every time. Here comes Coney with the ball back. 16 15. Lakota, or Lakota West down. Indians up. Coney. Krim. Kicked out to Coney. Almost uh, travel there. Almost another travel there. Great defense there on the backside by Layfield. Really good footwork. Yep. We were in trouble if he got that shot up, though. He was well inside. West is coming into trouble getting beat up the dribble every single time. Yeah, the help side defense got a little bit better here. That's pretty good, pretty good, but still. Good block stay with there. Him. By William Layfield. This is Woods on the ball now. Coney in the dribble on the inside. Nobody look at him there. Takes it back out. Woods. There's the alley-oop. Wow. Great pass. Yep. And a great finish. Brownston with another finish. I tell you what, Brownston's making a, a, a splash for himself here coming off the bench. The fifth man. Oh, great oh look inside. inside. The sixth man, I should Good say. bucket. Minnick with Good a nice tie. finish. Brady Weber with a great look. Coney. Krim. Good D. Good D. Yes, Step sir. Line. Well played. Great defense by Minnick there. Quality minutes for Minnick. A sophomore coming off the bench for West. Yep. Just one of those gritty kind of players. You can just kind of see it in his eyes. He's not Score. gonna back down from anybody. Yep. Turner. 18-17, five minutes left in the quarter. Layfield. Minnick with the pick and roll. Weber. Turner looking for an option on the inside, but Layfield. Back to Turner. Fairfield doing a nice job on defense here. They're working with the screens well. Brady for tough three. Shot. Tough shot. That Fade is away a tough three. shot. Yeah. West offense kind of relying on just pick and roll or driving, beating your man one on one. You got to keep working inside, looking to dish, create some assists. Yep. Force the defense to respond to you. There's Woods over across to Amir. Amir now back over to. Brownston. Ooh, another too hard Who's pass. Who's that going to be out on? Referee's going to discuss this. Mm. They're going to go with Fairfield ball. We've got three players in. Excuse Here's me. the replay. Watch Brownston on the dribble drive. He has no option. He just, yeah, it goes right through mm. the Dukovic. With the Dukovic, Weber, and Calvin Turner all great at driving, he have got to look to create. Woods. Good defense there by Layfield. Ooh, good help. Good defense on, on him by Layfield. Oh, we got a little shove there. That's going to be a foul on Rodgers. Loose ball foul, a little shove and a rebound. Deshaun Krim checks back in for Fairfield. Right now, Rodgers leading the game for Fairfield Indians with eight points. Weber with six for Lakota West. Turner. Minnick over to Layfield. To Dukovic working inside. Ooh, that's a lazy pass. Great steal. Reverse layup, not quite gotten it, but that's got to be a Lakota West ball. This could make up his, he went straight down the center. Pick a side. Yeah, Murphy, Murphy wasn't quite sure what he wanted to do with it. That reverse finish is tough. I think he just lost track of where he was at in the court. He looked up and he had to do reverse. There's Layfield here. Oh, oh, Weber. Turner with a good, good dribble drive. Turner. See right there. Yeah, he's got some kick options. He, he didn't take it. Three him. Fairfield players on him. Weber Someone's with a open. Finish. You're exactly right. We were fortunate that Weber was able to get the loose ball and finish it. I agree with you. You've got to have eyes around your head a little bit more. This is 
uh, Coney. That's just that's just lazy defense. That's too easy. Screen goes right past two defenders on Lakota West. Krim, Woods, and we get beat. Coney on wide the open. Ooh, Ooh, there's the there's travel. The travel. Couldn't keep that foot down. Rogers trying to make a strong move to the rim. Yep, lost his balance. He's a big man. Look Good at the size bound. he's got down underneath there. There's the foot sliding yep. to it. That left foot, pivot foot. Layfield. Good drive by Turner. Turner with a step back. The Dukovic with a heads up and a shot. Tried to get the ball There's in there for an and one. There's that we're talking about. The Dukovic inside boxing his own man out on the offensive boards. That'll send the Dukovic to the line for his first free throws of the night. No foul trouble yet for anybody. Either side doing a pretty good job of playing clean hoops. Zukovic shooting 86.7% from the free throw line. What's he shooting from uh, three-point land? 45.6. He is 47 of 103. How about Brady Weber? Brady Weber is 47.6. He's 30 go. for 63. Unbelievable. Calvin Turner's got 43.2%. Those are the big three for Lakota West. Now we know why the scores are so high every game. Yeah. Coney yeah. with the drive. Look for an option. He's got Murphy, but he doesn't decide. He takes Woods instead. This is Krim on the side as, uh, as well. There's Krim now. West looks to be sitting back in that zone. Mr. Rogers moving around his neighborhood over there looking for the ball. If I like that to. reference. Yeah, thank you. Woods. No, a little strong. Weber with a nice rebound. That's the reason why he's the leading rebounder for West. Turner. Had great position on that ball. Oh, the Dukovic has that lane open. Yes, they leave him wide open to one on one. They're playing the game. Woods is playing man-to-man. Man. move. Good what finish. What a finish. Man, I almost, I was almost upset that Layfield cut there. You have a wide open one on one with your best player. Yeah. Second leading score in a GMC. Tony. Woods. Back to Tony. <laughs> Minute 40 left. 23-18. Lakota West starting to sneak slowly away, slowly. Inside to Murphy. Murphy with a nice dish. Good Look block. at Mr. Rogers. Great block by Minnick. Oh, and then the help Underneath. on the backside. That's good defense. Here's Layfield. Layfield looking for an option with yep, a reach. That's going to be a foul. Yep. Yep. Good, good, strong move into him. Here comes the block on the backside, I think. See Minnick come down. Look at Mr. Rogers. Outside D. Oh, yeah. And then he gets the rebound. Great work. And that puts Amir Rodgers at two fouls. Two fouls late in the second half isn't bad. But no, not for your leading scorer. It's something to look at to, to keep attacking. The Dukovic. Oh. Mm. That's a little force there by the Dukovic. Yep. Two players on, someone's open. Almost a walk there, but no call. Coney taking it out. Handles the ball well for a big man. Good tip. Good defense Good tip. by Bayfield. Way to break up the transition attack. Minute and two. 23-18, Lakota West. Woods wind downs the ball for the Indians. If I'm West, I'm playing conservatively here. You're up five. You want to go into half of the lead. There's Coney. Woods. Great move. Good pickpocketed. Yep, Layfield from behind with a great steal. Turner, 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 Turner. See what he's going to do. Yeah, it's one of those where I think he should pull that one out. Exact, oh, this late, or dish. Layfield was wide open on the second block, watch. Both player, both player for defenders on him. Yeah. Easy bounce oh, pass right yeah, there. Layfield's right underneath. Wide open layup. Just a little wraparound pass, a little bounce pass. 47.6 seconds with Turner on the line. But Turner can hit him, he's nearly 90% from the free throw line. That just uh, is work ethic, isn't it? Showing up every day, shooting a little bit of hoops inside the rim in the morning before classes start. There you go, just two perfect swishes. Yep. Murphy inbounds it to Coney. Coney, a sophomore too, Will. A lot of young players on this court. Fairfield started three sophomores. Wow. This is Krim. Good Oh, pass. what a pass. Wow. Good finish too with the reverse. The, the quickness of that release was amazing by Krim. Didn't even see it. Just whoop, shoot right underneath there. This is Turner going to slow it down. Maybe play for the last shot. Coney's on him right now, forcing the five-second call. He's got the open Turner's lane, Turner's got to go. Yep. Ooh. That's a good That's a good layup. Minnick with a nice rebound. Kicks yep. it back out. That's a good attack by Cal, uh, Calvin Turner. Just got to finish. Yep. 
Turner back up top now looking for an option. He's got Dudukovic. Decides the long NBA style three. Wow. Unbelievable. That will definitely make the highlight film because I saw the uh, news guys behind on that shot. Wow, what a great three to end with. Some momentum. Wow. That was a long three. NBA style and then some. Here's the replay. With a man on him. He's staying, he's staying, he's staying. He's back by the, oh, From the wing goodness. of the Firebird. Whew. Count it. Great Dakota hit. West, 28 to 20 at halftime. I'll tell you what, Will, we're in for a barn burner running down here. West taking a little bit of a lead, but I'm sure Fairfield will come back. We'll be right back. Hey, Monica. Hey. Westchester wants to know, how do I rent the barn? Well, Mulhauser Barn is a rental facility that Westchester owns. It was actually originally built in 1881, but the Westchester Township acquired it in 2008, and now we use it as a rental facility for weddings, graduation parties, any event you can think of. It's a seasonal facility open from April 1st through November 15th because there's no heating or air conditioning. You can find more information on availability, pricing, and scheduling a tour to visit Mulhauser Barn at westchesteroh.org. If you have a question about Westchester Wants to Know, visit any of our social media or visit our website. Welcome back, Firebird fans, to Friday Night Hoops on February the 12th here at Lakota West, hosting the Fairfield Indians. In the second half now, 28 to 20, Lakota West is up. I tell you what, Will, I mean, the shooting has been unusually low in terms of percentages. Yep. And the scoring, not what we were expecting, right? 28 to 20 is not the game we were expecting tonight. Not at all. Fairfield averaging nearly 60 a game. West up there at six, or leading the GMC at 64.5 as we kick it off with a three from Fairfield. Wow. Murphy with a three-pointer on that no one. time. But Fairfield shooting 36% from the field. West at 40%. Both teams only two three-pointers made in the first half. The tail of the game has to be the three turnover differences, giving Lakota West more chances to score baskets. You know, the six to three in turnovers differential. There's a great block by Amir Rogers, and I agree. Yep. West doing a good job taking care of the ball, but Fairfield five points straight out of the gate, I'm making it a ball game. I'm not sure what coach talked about in the halftime locker room, but uh, Firebird or Fairfield Indians are coming out fired up. Weber with the ball now. My stat after the first half is the assist. West only has three assists in the first half. Yeah, okay. many opportunities we talked about it, keeping their eyes open for some dishes here and there. Look Ready at the fat fighting. underneath. Yep. Murphy with a nice job of boxing him out. Up ahead, this is the big man, Mr. Rogers. Good block. Ben Minnick again. Ah. In the putback. Hard to keep him out when he's one-on-one -on -one underneath the hoops. All right, this is Turner. Now West is probably going to be good to Take slow it down. Out. Yep. I would do the same thing. Fairfield comes out of the half seven points in a minute. Interesting little conversation between Coach Leon and, and the referee. He was standing on the floor, and it looked like an automatic timeout almost called, but the way the referee looked at him, Coach Leon said, I didn't call a timeout. Uh, interesting. Well, Leon still may have wanted one, though. After yeah, the, that's that probably start. not a bad move there in that situation where Fairfield came out on fire. I tell you what, 28 to 27 in a hurry. That lead evaporated. Wes has got to come back out with the same tide of fire that Fairfield came out with. You know, the struggle here is the defensive side of the ball, right? West has got to play better defense than this to win this game. Because I mean, Fairfield will score. They will. West giving up 62.8 a game. They're last in the GMC. It's hard to win games when you give up 60-plus. A minute and 10 out off there, and they got seven points unanswered. Yeah. But don't get me wrong, West is winning games. They're putting up 64.5. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I guess you score more than that. It comes a rat race at that point in time. This is Turner inbounds in the ball. This is Layfield. Offense sells tickets. Yeah. Defense wins championships. Layfield. Dudukovic with a nice drive. Great Good block outside block. Mr. Rogers stepped in to help that neighborhood. On the outside back, to Woods. Back-to-back -back blocks for Rogers. Woods with a foot on the line. Fairfield wants a foul. I didn't see the play. I didn't see if he really made contact with him or if it was a little acting job. We have a travel underneath on the rebound, too. It'll be West's ball now. Fans unhappy with that call, I think. Weber inbounds it to Layfield. And this is going to be Layfield now as West sets up. Fairfield staying in the man-to-man -man defense. It's been working for him all night. Yep, especially out of the get here in the second half. Layfield inside to Weber. Weber Good with strong a strong move. move. 
The help side by Rogers kicks back out. Minnick playing some nice, nice hoops for West, doing the dirty job, getting the work done. He's been fun to watch tonight. That is another deep three by Calvin Turner. We saw him hit one at the end of the half. Yep. Hard to make him consistently, though, unless your name's Steph Curry. This is this is Coney. Coney inside. Wow. Mr. Rogers finishes it. West just lazy on D. There's no rotation there. Brady stuck guarding two, two guys in the paint. Now a nine unanswered points in the second half. Fairfield takes the lead. Minnick. Oh, that's a tough pass. He's got to go with the bounce pass on that one. Great defense there. Dudukovic looking for that ball on the floor. Didn't get it. This is Woods with a strong move. Goes right through Minnick to wow. finish the basket. 11 unanswered in two and a half minutes. And West really can't afford to take another timeout. They took one to slow things down already. Nope. Layfield. Fans wanting to end one in the last one. It's always fun to listen to fans calling the referees for you. West is just Murphy, lazy great with this ball. ball. Fairfield jumping the passes, playing great defense, and finishing down low. Grim. This is not what they wanted. Leon nope. taking the timeout. Fairfield comes out with 13 unanswered. I don't know if they missed a shot. I don't think they did. They had high percentage shots. They made good transition baskets. Inside, moving the ball. Uh, and I, on, de on their defensive half, they're, they've got three, two steals and two blocks in the last four possessions. A little bit of exposure here for West. You know, you don't get back on transition defense. This is kind of what happens. You know, if there's a turnover, there's a missed ball. You've got to get back. And here we are. I mean, 33. Is it 33 on the answer? Yeah. Or 13 13. Point? I mean, we were sitting at halftime up 28 to 20, thinking West had full control. Yeah. Uh, again, Fairfield with a nice adjustment at halftime, clearly taking the energy to Lakota West, and it's showing. Fairfield 10 and 1. In the GMC, I mean, they're, lead, they're top of the GMC for a reason. They're a good team. Yeah. West is going to have to respond to this. Weber's going to inbounds. That'd be Irby now taking the ball down the floor. We've got to restart. Another interesting stat here is West top two leading scorers and nearly top of the GMC here. Second and third, both Kelvin Turner and Dudukovic were two for seven. Wow. In the uh, first half. Yeah. Dudukovic. Good ball moving from West, looking to drive. Turner with the drive and a rotation in. Ooh, nice finish. Tough shot, left. good finish. Krim. Woods, three from deep. Wow. I don't think he should have taken that shot. No, that I don't think so either. Yeah. But uh, he is uh, shooting 38.3% from behind the arc, which is, isn't, which is pretty solid. Yeah. A little quick on that trigger, though. It's hard right. when you're in full transition with all your momentum going forward. Yeah, Gotta slow you down a little bit. Yep. And put a little touch on it. Dudukovic. Weber. Good ball movement. Irby from the corner. Count it. Good shot. Good ball movement. Wide open three. Swing it around the arc. Now Wes answers finally. That's a big momentum swing for Wes. This is a... Uh, Tony inside to Mr. Rogers, and big strong move. Got a box out. Can't Grim. get a jump. That's a jump in contest. Weber. Dang. Weber and Minnick. Or, uh, excuse me, that was Dukovic down there. That's Weber's first foul. That's good news for Lakota West. Yeah, they only had one personal foul in the first half, so nobody really in foul trouble except mm -mm. Amir. Mm -mm. Pretty clean game so far. Krim. Finishes the first one. I like it. Been physical game too. That's letting them play. Yeah, and I think it's been pretty fair how it's been called. It hasn't been, you know, one sided in any shape, fashion, or form. This is Krim again for the second. Left it a little short, almost a put back there. Weber with the rebound. Got a box Kicks it out, out to Irby. Irby doesn't see an option, which is the right move. Pull it back out. Set up your offense. Turner. Dudukovic wants the ball on the, on the floor. There he yep, gets it. There's, there's the, the reach. reach. Yep. Good positioning by Dudukovic. It's interesting to see Dudukovic work so much at the post yeah. this game. Here comes there's Coney. The, the little reach. That's a slight reach. You know, I, I think he hit him on the arm. Gotcha. That's what I saw in it live, not on that replay play there. Gotcha. Irby over to Turner. Turner, quick shot. Count it. Wow. They got that play designed. Is that... Calvin sprinted, I think was the inbound, just sprinted around two picks for that wing three as Wes swung the ball around the arc. And he released it without a problem. No, nope, no hesitation. Krim with a step back and the glass kiss. It's Friday, banks are open. Yeah. Turner. 
Turner, step back three. Count it! Wow. wow. Turner's getting involved now. He's got 17. Coney. Krim fakes it and takes the shot himself to answer, and he does. And that's honestly, Calvin Turner made great plays, but him standing down there letting him shoot a wide open three should not happen. I agree. Defense is part of this game, a big part of this game. And you saw what happened there when you let Krim take a clear look. Nice reach in there from uh, Coney. Coney with the uh, pass Ooh. from Krim over to Woods. Woods with a nice finish. He wanted to dunk that. Yes. Fairfield had a four on one fast break. That's just too easy to get at least a foul out of it. Irby with a nice job making sure he gets the foul and not the finish. I think if 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 if, if Murphy actually goes up for the excuse me, Logan Woods actually goes up for the layup, it's an and one. But you know, everybody loves to see a good dunk. Yeah. Kind of went to the side, tried to avoid contact rather than just go strong. 39s is where we're at. He's got several inches at, at least on Irby. Yeah. 2.46 left in the third. This is Woods on the line now. After the four-on-one break. And what a great foul that turns out being for Irby. Ooh, yep. A four-on-one fast break, and they come out with zero points. Fantastic foul by Irby. Smart. Irby now taking the ball in. Looking for an option. The Dukovic. Dukovic. Wow. Fade away three. Can't in get motion. it. In motion. That's a tough shot to hit. It it's is. open, but it's tough when you're fading away. This is Coney with a one-on-one -on -one move. That's it. I want to see this foul. He's calling the foul on the floor, too, I think. Here we go. I think he's calling the foul on the floor. Nope. Driving. Shooting. There's Turner. Slaps inside. Kind of a oh, wow. Is he calling that shooting foul, or is he calling that? He, oh, so he, he, he called it an and one. He reached inside, which could have been a foul. It was very, very light contact. And then he had a, his hand on the back of him, which could be a push. But I don't think he really put any pressure on it. That's a weak call. Yeah. Especially for an and one situation. Yep. Luckily, he didn't make it, so. Yeah. The ball always is honest with you. The ball doesn't you lie. No. This is Coney going the other way. Quick transition. Great move. You know, you got one on one, you might as well you go. Take it. Somebody's got to step in and help. West got to help. Fairfield's doing a great job in transition this quarter. They are attacking West and forcing. Oh, they got Irby in trouble. They got Irby in trouble on the five second call wow. coming. They got him trapped now. Oh, and a reaching foul bailout call. That helped. Fairfield's pressure is all over West on defense. You could see this coming. You could see it building where Irby was getting in trouble. And West slow to respond. I guess there was a foul there. Mm, well, I don't think there was a foul there, I'm going to be honest with you. That's a tough one. West will take it, though. Turner. That's Weber. Kudos to the crew. Some great rebounds for, or, uh, replays for us tonight. Oh, this is Weber for three. Wide open three. Count it. it. Yes, sir. Brady Weber, 47.6. We know he can shoot it from out there. West needed that one in a hurry. 43 42, 141 left. In keeping the it close. Weber's this got 11. Kevin Turner's got 17. We've got to keep getting those guys the ball for Lakota West. This is Woods. Good look inside. Rogers. Woods. Just a little jump shot, gets around position. The world. That's position like seven in around the world, isn't it? Yeah. He's probably been playing that all his life. He's got a height advantage on Irby, just goes up with it. Yep. Weber. The Dukovic working inside again. Great, Great pass. Luck. Unfortunately, couldn't quite handle the ball, but Irby's going to take the three quickly. He hit it from the corner just a moment ago. Rogers with a nice rebound there. Good hustle by Irby. Yeah, that's going to be a pushing foul or something of that nature. It kind of leaned on him all the yep. way down the court. Yep. That's going to be on Irby. Yeah, push. That's his second. See him just, you just can't ride him down the court like that. You got to beat him to a position. Pope coming in for Fairfield as long, along with Murphy. For Lakota West, we've got uh, Wambagoo coming in. Looks like he's coming in for, um, I can't tell who he came in for. Irby, I think. Good defense there from the Dukovic. Pope wanting the ball on the other side, but attacking the left side. Here comes Coney, kicks it back out. This is Pope. Strong move. Wow. That's really a strong, strong move. move. Calvin Turner just kind of backing off there, letting him have that layup, lane. that lane. And no help side help from, from Brady either. Yeah. This is Layfield. 
Weber. Wambagoo. Fairfield nearly doubled their total from the first half. Or excuse me, they did. What am I thinking? My math is messed up. Hmm. West going for the last shot. 42-47. The Indians have now controlled this quarter and this half. Oh, Turner almost getting in trouble there. Weber is going to take the three. Count it, wow. baby. Just count it. What is up with these last second shots today? Weber and Turner both drilling some insane shots. Wow, this is this is a tough shot. You got Turner in trouble. Dishes it to Weber. Weber's got nothing but a shot. That's all he can do. In rhythm. Wow. Weber knew he was going to shoot it and didn't hesitate. And swished it. 47-45, Fairfield Indians up. End of the third quarter. Exciting finish here, Wes. Come back here in a moment. I'm Carol Lucio with Butler County Safe Communities, where our goal is to reduce traffic-related crashes, injuries, and fatalities. One of the most important things you can do behind the wheel is actually before you get in your car. Make sure that you clear your car of all snow and ice. Use a good scraper brush and remove all snow and ice from your car, the complete windshield needs to be used in order to be completely safe. Some other things to make sure you do is to make sure you have good working windshield wipers. So check your windshield wipers, get new ones if need be. You also want to make sure that you have good fluid to clear your windshield and fluid that can be used for negative temperatures is always best. One of the most important things you can do though is check the pressure in your tires. You can have a great gadget like this or use a simple penny. If you can see Lincoln's head, you need new tires. Check your tires often as they can go down in cold weather. Another thing you can do to make sure you're best prepared is to have an emergency kit in your car. Simple things like gloves, mittens, hats, earmuffs, and warmers, hand and toe warmers, a bag of sand in case you need traction are all good things to help you make sure that you stay safe and arrive home safely. Welcome back, Firebird fans, to Lakota West hosting Fairfield Indians on Friday night, February the 12th. Uh, a turn of events here in the third quarter, Will. We the come out of the second half, or first half. Lakota West controlling the game, 28 to 20, and here we are, 47-45, Fairfield. Yep, Fairfield came up with some fire, some heat, some pressure. They had lots of seals, lots of blocks early in the third quarter that helped them claw back into it and put up 27 points. They must have had some Gatorade or something in halftime, and they came out something. with some high energy. Now West trying to keep his game where it is, which is manageable. Oh boy, big turn over there. Murphy's going to take this. He's going to go one on one with Weber. Weber with a great block. Great defense. Turner with a nice rebound. Good job by West to get back and rebound the ball. Wamagoo's going to take it because it's one on one. That's the right move. Ooh, oh, he can't finish. finish. That finish has got to happen. This be uh, Krim. Krim looking for some help. Kicks it over away, all the way over to Coney. I half expected him to shoot that. This is back to Krim now. Oh. oh, from deep, nobody responds to him. Let's him take that shot. There we go, good rebound. Turner. West can tie this game up here or take the lead. Here comes Turner with the drive. Tough drive against two men. Little, little That's looks a like foul. A, yeah, little hack on the arm. It's a tough shot. It's a great move to beat the defender. But this hook shot is tough. Yeah, if nothing else, he's going to get him with the body after yeah. he shoots the ball. Amir Rogers goes up for the block and comes down with his body. Yep. All right, Turner stroking it. Yep. Great shot. 90% from the free throw line. He's yep. automatic. Four for four in the first half. Very smooth with that stroke. For Lakota West, number 11, Josh Fussell making his appearance in the game. Just seeing him for the first time. I think he played in the JV game, I believe. So he's probably limited on minutes here. Could be, I think, five quarters is the max. Yeah, something night. like that. Nice finish there. That's probably way until the fourth quarter to you, use it. You huh? can appear in five quarters, I yep. think. Yep, Krim with a nice move there. This is Turner up top. There's Fussell. We just spoke about him. 
Oh, we're going to hold on Woods. The Dukovic and Woods have been battling the second half. Yep. You know, they're trying to make the Dukovic uncomfortable. I think that's the key here. You're playing them very physical tonight. Yep, and he hasn't been able to hit from outside the arc and really hasn't had much going on inside. Yep. Uh-oh, two coaches talking to each other now. Coaches talking to each other now. Uh, they're going to have to separate that. Coach Leon not happen. Apparently there was some conversation between uh, the some Indians player and Coach players, Leon. Yeah. And, and Coach Leon asking for assistance from the Fairfield coach to kind of keep his players. we got technical fouls, I believe, being issued to each side for yep. what the referee signaling. Yep. And that means both sides have to sit in the floor or sit in the chair. To my knowledge, I don't think anything happens. I think it, whoever has possession maintains possession on offsetting technical fouls. Gotcha. And all it is is basically allowing the, or forcing the coaches to have a seat, right, if they I, have both yeah, technicals. I, I don't think there's any free throws or anything. Yep. They're asking both coaches to have a seat. And actually, it's a dead ball foul, too. Hmm. West, because they called the foul originally on Fairfield. Yep. They're still going to short sort it out. Uh, to your point, both coaches having technicals. Both coaches will be seated now. That will probably take the thing down to another level. I'll calm things down from there. Fairfield coach not happy with that. He's wondering why he has to sit down. But Love to see the fire from coaches, though, but there's got to be a line there. Yeah, I mean, the, you know, the floor is a safe haven for players, right? You can't have coaches kind of stepping on the floor, and that's what you had there. Right. Two coaches coming together. That's a good move by the referees. I like it. I like the way they handled it. Yep. And offsetting is the right way to do it. Yep. Control the situation without penalizing the players. Calvin Turner, no hesitation. Wow. Way down. There he is again. His inner Damian Lillard is coming out. This is. If he's it, feeling it, he's going to shoot it. That's 22 for him. Krim with an out of control shot here. Weber with a rebound. This is firing Lakota West up. Giving West a chance to kind of take control of this game. And Krim had three players on him and threw up a junk shot down there. Got to look to dish when you've got three players on you. Yep. 50 to 49 right now, six minutes and 17 seconds left. Inside, there's the Dukovic, fading away though. Seems like that's the only look you can get. Fairfield playing very tight defense on him. Yeah, and being very physical with him on top of that. All Duke. right, so this is Krim up top. The Dukovic Woods. not happy. Woods with a drive. Good help side, rotate out. Oh, almost a steal there, chance. Steal. Krim, a little strong. Oh, that might be Fairfield ball. Yep. Yeah. Christopher Barber in for Lakota West. I thought Murphy might have tipped it, but. Yeah, Barber was the last one to touch it. Krim's going to inbound this. Fairfield starting off in the wall, top of the key. Got a little bit Got of a wet spot there. Don't want anybody to slip. Yep. Trying to dry it out. They need a towel. They're going to call for a towel. Yep. Well, I tell you what, the, the action we got firing up between the two coaches got everybody fired up. The players, the fans. fans. are in it, too. Yeah. You know, COVID uh, controlled crowd here, a smaller crowd than usual because no, no, no uh, mm. student section. Good point. The students would have definitely been oh. into it. I would have heard some pretty funny chants, maybe. Yeah, and we're sitting right next to where <laughs> the visiting <laughs> students would have been. <laughs> it's always a joy. You got to love the atmosphere. That's right. There's Coach Leon having a seat talking with his coaches. Off the shoulder, Lakota wow. West taps it off. Hit the ground, hit the ground. I couldn't see the Fairfield bench was in my way here. Oh, uh, we're going to rebound. The coach is talking. <laughs> <laughs> Always good to see Coach Leon there. <laughs> All right, this is Brady Weber inbounding. This is Fussel kick taking the ball down for West, number 11, Josh. A sophomore. Boy, young teams playing here. Lots this of young talent. Yeah. Lots of good players. Christopher, also a sophomore, by the way, Will. Oh, Turner, Turner from deep again. again. Nope. A little strong fussle with a putback. And the touch. He Great putback. The tip in, too. He doesn't even come down with it. Yep. Perfect elevation, easy layup. Timed it just right, didn't he? 52-49, 5-23. Lakota West with the lead now. This is Coney. Good Looks drive, on the inside of Rodgers. That's easy. Oh, Ooh, but Rodgers misses, misses it. And Big that, miss there. That's Fairfield's bread and butter, too. Rodgers has got to Christopher, one-on-one. On one, he should take him, but he doesn't. He kicks it back to Fussell. Good pump fake. Back out to Christopher. Swing it. Uh, I think go. Christopher should have taken that one. A little sophomore nerve. You're up three, though, so you don't need that layup, too. True. Clock's still your friend. Turner. 
Take the conservative answer to that. There's the Dukovic. There's the drive. Good strong move. It's a good move. That's a but tough finish, though. Yeah. Offhand fadeaway finger roll is hard. I almost thought he just jumps up and goes straight up. Yeah. Great move. That's, that's what Coach was just saying, too. Just go straight up. Don't that's go to the side. Uh, he had two big players on him. I don't know. That's a, that's a tough spot to be in. West trying to have the ball inside. There's Weber. Three. He's got the stroke. Oh, Ooh, it was right on line from where we were seeing it, too. I thought it was good. Yeah. If you're look for, looking for the transition pressure. Oh, uh, Coney, hang on to the ball too long. There's a grab foul. by Coney after that. Yep. And that will put West on the next foul in the one and one. That's the sixth foul on Fairfield. Still nobody in any foul trouble at all, Will. Nobody. There it is right here. Just kind of a reach. Almost lost control of his body a little bit. This is Weber inbounds and now the fussel. Amir Rogers comes out. Interesting. Four and a half left. Probably a quick minute break before you get him back in. You do not want... That's when you tell him to sit next to you as a coach. <laughs> Go get a drink, sit next to me. Here comes Fussell on the drive. Ah, oh, lost it. Can't have that one. Nope, that's good defense from Fairfield to read the pass. Krim. Woods for three with the rotation to count it. To tie up the ball game, no hesitation there. Great shot there by Woods. He knew he was open and took it. Turner looking at the scoreboard, looking at the time, knowing that it's about four minutes and we're all tied at 52s. If I'm West, the ball has got to stay in these three players' hands here on the left side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got uh, sophomore Christopher and Fussell on the other side who hasn't been on the floor as much as the other three that you're referring to. And they're your leaders over there, the leading scorers. Leading scorers, and they've been by far the most minutes here. Yep. There's Fussell with the drive. He's going to take it himself, wow. though. One-on-one hey, -on -one with a, a foul. That's a good, strong move. And to, to that point, you know Fairfield's going to play those three tight. You know, you prove me wrong and you attack yourself. Well, they left the lane wide open. You know, yep. Fairfield never stepped in. Here's the lane. Just a swipe help, that's it, because they don't want to leave the Dukovic and Calvin Turner open on the three. Yeah. All right, Fussell to the line. Clutch shots here. He left that one short. You can see it out of his hand. Looked like he rushed it a little bit, a little bit off timing on this move. This is another big one to keep Wes ahead. Boy, Man. not a whole lot of arc on that shot. Nope. This is Coney. As a player, though, you got to just forget about it, play the next play. Oh, oh they gave him the wow. lane. That's too easy. Way too easy. They gave him the lane. West got split with nobody home. Turner now. Fairfield showing some grit. West has got to answer. It's Turner with the drive. Good move. There's the oh, there's the kick we've yep. been looking for. There Christopher. it is. Yep. That's a great look. All night we've been looking for that play. Here comes the drive. Great play here by Turner. Inside, lane wide open to kick it over. Christopher now has a chance, puts Pope in the out of position. He's got to file him almost. Good move. Now, can the sophomore make the two to tie this game back up? Oh, again, a little strong. Throws. Very low arc on the shots. Got to give the ball a chance, right? Got to give the roll a chance. Yep. I, I, no rotation either. Kind of looked like a knuckleball coming out. Christopher again for the second. There it is, little backspin, yep. little arc. All right, 54-53, Fairfield Indians. Now, let's see what Fairfield does here because they have the lead. They can rotate the ball, but they're not the type of guys to hang out and watch. They're going to take the Good shot. Ooh. Ooh. Is that with the body, maybe? Look clean up top. Got a lot of ball. He might have hit him on the head on the follow-through. That's all I could see right here. Watch his head on the follow-through. Boom. Yep, yep. Yeah. Good call. Yep, that's a foul right on the head. All right, that sends Woods to the line for two shots. If he can make this, it'll bring the game to a three-point ball game. Both teams now in the bonus, too. Free throw's going to come in big. Both teams want their best free throw shooters out there. Woods clearly has a good stroke up there, too. Good free throw stroke. Woods is Fairfield's leading scorer. He's got 16.7 a game. He shoots 76.9% from the free throw line. That's not a high percentage free throw line. It's not bad, but no. it's, it's, not, it's not the 86 and 90 that that the Dugovic and Calvin Turner are. Especially from your highest score, you would expect a little bit better. Yep. All right, this is Fussell on the ball now. 80 plus. Yes. Turner. The Dukovic on the rotation over. That's a great. That's a tough wow. shot. Wow. How do you make that? I don't know. How do you defend it? You can't. Now, that's, I must admit, a, that was a little bit of a shooter's role. That's a shooter's role, but the Dukovic is a shooter with 21.3 points per game. Yeah. The flex cut there across the baseline for Lakota West. Woods. Woods is looking to create again. This is uh, Coney. 
Coney over to Krim. Krim oh, is wide is. open. Too easy. Too easy. Krim's Fairfield second leading scorer. He's got 15.6 a game. We can't leave those guys open. 58-56, Indians. West didn't have a defender in the vicinity over there. Rotation was really slow on that defense. This is Turner. West down four with two minutes to play. I would attack here. You just want to look to create an attack. Oh, West is running the flex. That's what they're doing. There's the rotation. There's Turner for three. Wow! Are you kidding me? I, that's, that's deep. That is clutch and 25, deep. 25, 26 feet back there. Wow, 58 to 59. And that was a huge momentum swing for West. Do you know Turner didn't even phase him. He just kind of just took it and shot. Now Fairfield waiting for West to step out. You've got to step out as West. There's Fussell. Fussell has no foul trouble, so he might as well foul. Oh. There you go. That's fine. That's a fine foul, but I don't know that it was a foul. That's yeah. Some contact, but. A little cheapy. Here it is. Waiting for Fussell to step out. Now a little movement, little movement. Uh, a little of chest bump. Hip, hip, chest yeah. hit there. Yeah. All right, back in is Mr. Rogers giving Pope a, or Pope a break. But I think it's the reverse. I think Pope is kind of filling in for Rogers so he can keep him fresh. Krim with the first one on the one on one. Free throws are big. 126, 60 to 58, Indians. Big thing is that three puts West still put in a one possession game. Even if he makes both, which oh, he can't. Kevin Short, we've got to box him out. Mr. Rogers with a big defensive rebound and a timeout for the Indians. Brady Weber didn't box him out. Yeah. The two best rebounders in the GMC. Fighting it over 123 and a timeout with the Indians. Here, a 30 second timeout. 60 to 58. Uh, Will, what's going to have to happen here for Lakota West to make the turn here? Well, Lakota West has got to get give Dedukovic and Turner the ball and attack. You don't have time option. to sit back today. No, you, you got a minute and 20 or so. Yeah. And if I'm Fairfield, I'm taking all the time that I can. Are you thinking for Lakota West, are you thinking a two-pointer or a three-pointer after you get the ball back? I guess it depends on what Fairfield does here, right? Yes. West has got a pressure everywhere. I wouldn't foul yet because Fairfield is a little turnover prone and you can put some pressure defense. You don't need to foul this early. But if it gets down to 40 seconds or so, you got to start fouling and, and – if Fairfield doesn't score, I would go for the two, but Calvin Turner shows no hesitation in pulling the three, and he's hitting them. So. Yep. yep. And you got options between Weber and Dudukovic, too. Now, Dudukovic hasn't been as strong in the three point land today. And most of them have been kind of fading away. And yeah. I think it's due to Fairfield's defense. They're yeah. all over him. Yeah, credit to Fairfield on that one. This is Krim inboundsing. He's trying to find Pope. And that's, he that's turns the, the ball over. That's the defense that West needed. Yeah. All, all night. All really. night. Yeah. Forced pressure turnover on the inbounds. All right, Turner now. Now, if you're Wes, I'm you at least attacking. gotta look for two. Yep. Just looking for two here. You want a good shot though. You yes. don't force anything, but you gotta you gotta go. You can't just sit out. There you go. He's forcing good the move. move. That's a good shot. Great shot. Great drive by Turner, good finish. Yep. Get the two points. Now force the action. Again, a little bit of pressure. No fouls here, a little bit of pressure. West electing to back it off. Yeah, this is interesting. This is going to be a chess game right here. Give them the final shot. That's my question. We're going to go to overtime. This is uh, this is like Milan versus uh, Muncie Central here in uh, Hoosiers. Well, oh, because if I'm honest, I mean, I think Krim beats Wes off the dribble here and attacks and creates a good shot. So sitting back maybe prevents that and forces them to take a bad three or something. Yeah, but here you're in the Fairfield position here, you're you're in the catbird seat. Yep. Because you got nothing but a tie and you got a chance to win it. Now the pressure comes. And the timeout comes time from out. Fairfield. Yep. All right, so West forcing the action with twenty four seconds left and forcing a timeout. And that's Almost a had a trap. Match. Yep, that's yeah. the chess match. West was waiting on the trap and Fairfield was waiting to see what would happen. Yeah. Twenty four seconds left, sixty to sixty. West has to play solid defense denying the pass like they did the last time. Well, Maybe you, you get a turnover. you got to force Fairfield to shoot from three. That You know they can hit it a little bit, especially Logan Woods, but other than him, force him to beat you from the outside. Play inside out, help side D from the inside, and don't let Amir Rogers get a wide open layup. Yeah. And it's going to be hard to keep him out of there because he moves well underneath the hoop. Yep. On the, on the flip side, rebound. They missed. You've got to rebound. All right. Fairfield has a chance to nearly ice the game with that free throw rebound. Both teams a lot of timeouts left going down the stretch here. 
Eight fouls on the personal side for Fairfield Indian, seven for Lakota West. Three timeouts each on each side. So this game might last a little bit here in the 24 seconds. Could be the 24 sec the longest 24 seconds ever. Yeah. Good 10, 15 minutes maybe. All right, watch West here. They're in the man denial position. And you got Woods on the inbounds. It's going to be a straight back to the other half. There you go. Yeah. That's what's going to happen here. Now, Coney is going to be the driver. West is pressuring. Switch D. Good switch. Good switch. Keep switching, though. you got to keep switching here. Yep, stay out on him. Now, Fairfield looking for the last shot. I'm Fairfield. I'm taking the last shot. You just sit back and wait. Yeah, this is Murphy. Murphy over to Krim. Krim looking for a little bit of a drive and a step back. Good defense by West. Can they get the rebound? It's, they do. The throw up by Weber. Time. No! Oh. Man. Almost a chance there by Weber. And he did give it a chance. That possession was played great by both sides. I yeah. think you force a jump shot, which is an open shot, but Fairfield didn't get an easy bunny to win the game. And we're wow. going to OT. Yes, sir. Wow. What a great end to the uh, regulation play. We'll be right back with the overtime between Lakota West and Fairfield Indians. Tied at 60s. Hey, Adam, you got a second? Oh, hey. Westchester wants to know, why are there so many cameras at all the local events? Well, there's so many cameras at all the local events because we are Westchester Television. So we're there to broadcast sport events at the two high schools, concerts, and all of that goes onto our Spectrum channels for local Westchester residents. If you don't have Spectrum or you're not a local resident, you can actually find all of that through our social media channels, Facebook, YouTube, Vimeo, uh, Instagram, and if you want to purchase a copy, you can do that through our website, westchesteroh.org. You can purchase a DVD. Uh, we're also always looking for volunteers and we're always open to help teach people. Just feel free to reach out and we look forward to working with you. If you have questions that you want to ask, feel free to reach out to us through our website or our social media channels. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, we look forward to hearing from you. Welcome back, Firebird fans, to Lakota West, hosting the Fairfield Indians here in Lakota West High School. Uh, the score is tied at 60s after an exciting second half. Um, first half, controlled by West. Third quarter, completely controlled by Fairfield. Fourth quarter, reversed back to Fair Lakota West, coming back from that. And now we're tied 60-60. And honestly, Will, this is the way the game should be because both teams are playing well. Yep. Clean game. Shooting hasn't been their best. Nope. But – it has been exactly what we're watching, which is a very hot, fought, hard fought game from both sides. What do you think, second, uh, this last quarter or this uh, overtime situation? What's going to happen here? Oh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to depend on, on who, I think, rebound. Second chance points. People are tired. You, it's easy to not box out when you're tired. If teams can get scrap buckets on inside, they can get an easy lead, especially with Brady Weber and, and Amir Rogers. I mean, the two rebounders, two top rebounders of the GMC, as I've said. Yep. I tell you what, from three-point land, six of 18 for Fairfield Indians in the end of regulation, nine of 20 for Lakota West. And then free throws, kind of a tail there. Uh, four of nine for Fairfield and nine of 12 for Lakota West. Got a rebound. There it is. Yep. And Calvin Turner went four for six, I believe, in the second half from three-point land, from deep three-point land. Very deep. This is Turner. LeBron kind of deep. Turner. Up, oh, referee calling that foul. Not going to allow that. Fans not happy with it, but, you know, the riding call we've always talked about, right? you yeah. got to get in position. You can't ride. Can't lean on them there. That's close. That's yeah. a good dish there, too. Yeah, it was a very good look. Turner at the free throw line. Front end at a one-on-one. -on -one. Free throw is very key. Got to make it. is. Six for six before. Now he's seven for seven. Not the guy you want to foul, Turner. Nope. There's one. You can give a two-point lead to Lakota West after this one right here. There it is. Two-point lead now. Coney. I tell you what, this is like the battle of the sophomores all over the floor here. Woods. Ooh, almost a travel. Murphy. Good look inside, though. Good swing. Back out to Krim. Two Four shot. Moves. Four shot. Yep. Good defense by Lakota West. The Dukovic. Dudukovic, Dudukovic, Dudukovic. Nope. Nope. Fossil. Ooh. Close. 
One the, more step, he would have had it. This late in the game, he can't be lazy with the ball. Turner. Oh, great move by Turner. And the three, no. A little short, hit the rim. This is Woods going the other way in a hurry. Good defense. Great block. That's good defense. Good defense by Christopher, just holding his position and his hand up. Yep. Never really getting him with his body. I didn't see it. no body contact, unless yeah. the ref saw something up top. Uh, I agree with you. There was really no contact there. Fans wanted a foul, but fans always want a foul. This is Turner. Turner's got the open lane. He sees There's it. There's the reach. That's going to draw some attention from now, the fans. That is my least favorite foul, yeah. I'll say, besides the over the back, which is not a foul. But Are you saying it's least favorite because you don't like the foul or you don't think it's real foul? He makes all ball contact here. Yeah. And, and even though you're reaching across the body, you're not hitting him at all. Yeah. Fans really happy with that call. This would be, is that Turner? Yeah, yep. he's still 100%. Still hitting him. Now, this is a big free throw right here for Turner, making a four-point game. Push it to two possessions. Yep. There I'll it is. What, he, he Perfect even, swish. Yeah, he doesn't even hesitate. It's really. like a robot just going in. Co uh, Coney. Looking to attack. He's Good been doing this move. all night. Brady Weber. Oh, there's the rebound, and there's the bucket to keep Fairfield in it. I tell you what, Weber comes over to help on the defense. Turner's got to box him out. And, and West didn't crash. Yeah. There's two guys in the paint for West on defense. Yeah. 64-62, two-point ball game. Lakota West. Turner. Turner with an easy look on the inside, but a little bit of a – could have been a body move, but I couldn't tell. It's an open look. He just kind of slipped, I think, on that move that, you, that he's making. Oh, Krim with wow. a smooth move. Very nice. Very good finish. Now we're all tied up again. Knotted up at 64s. 145. West can't get beat inside. Back-to-back mm -hmm. -back layups to keep effort in the game. Got to help. Got to help. Turner now sitting up top. Minute 37. West waiting for Fairfield to put some pressure because Calvin Turner, I think, can beat him off of Joe pretty easily. And there, there it comes. is. He's going. Christopher does not want that shot. Nope. Yep. Still waiting to see here what we got. This is good defense by Fairfield. Putting a little pressure. Oh. Turner finding an opening. Good dish. Oh, there's the right look to Weber. That's a great Bang. setup by Lakota West. Outstanding setup by Lakota West. One, two, three shot. I'll tell you what, that, that is my favorite play right there. Yep. Great setup. Christopher Barber, no hesitation to push it out to Brady for three. Yep. Fairfield oh with my an goodness. answer. The answer right back. Here we are. Logan Woods knocking down another one for Fairfield. 67s now after a pair of threes being played by both sides. It's like a poker game. Here comes Turner on the drive. Oh, a lot of body, but no wow. call. Good finish. Great finish. Gets the shooter's roll. We got a timeout here by Coach Leon. I was about to say he had a wide open little dish to his buddy on the baseline. Number 11, Josh Fussell was wide open on the baseline, but that's a good finish from, yeah. from Calvin Turner. Anytime it goes in, it's got to be a good finish. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's hard to argue with that. <laughs> Can't argue with points. No. We definitely got a shooter's roll on that one, and I thought there was a, some body contact that could have been called, but it wasn't called. Yep. yep. I mean, Again, basketball is a physical game. It is. And honestly, the foul situation, you got 10 fouls for Fairfield, seven fouls for Lakota West on the team side. And frankly, it's been pretty fairly called. Um, I think that represents the more physical side, which is Fairfield. So in reality, that is what it is, you know. Sometimes you get the call, sometimes you don't. And but you've got to make the basket. Turner coming up on the career high, or the game high for West, like the career record, I think. Excuse is that me. right? The all-time record for eight points in a game. It's something near 30. I think he had it earlier, 34, 35. I don't someone. know. I don't know the books on that It's one. around mid-30s. I think I it think. might have been this year, too, between the Dukovic and Turner playing. I mean, they're two great scorers. Yeah. And obviously Weber outstanding himself. I mean, with a big three there yep. down the stretch. No hesitation either. Overtime, knows he can hit it. Yeah. 45% from behind the arc. All right, so now coming out of this, you got Fairfield with the ball. He's got the full run of the baseline after a basket. And West, interestingly, has not pressed this entire game. I think it's smart. I think Fairfield is a pretty um, athletic team. Yeah, and very good in transition. And yeah. West's transition D is not very good. Yeah, so it's exposing yourself if you do try to press. Here's Pope. This is Krim. West in the 2-3, I think. Maybe Krim no. with a move on the inside, wow. but no help. I think Turner was looking for help. He didn't get it. Oh. All right, 69s now. Turner taking the ball down. And West looking for the final shot here. And this, again, the reverse side of the last one. Right, Precisely. West is in the, the catbird seat here. 
You want to wait until under 10 to move. There you go. All you're looking for is a shot from Turner. Turner trying to find his way in. They there want a five-second call. They're not getting. The, the shot was there, oh. but he didn't make it. What do we What's got call? call? If it's a foul, it's a one and one. What do we got call here? We're waiting for Oh, he called a timeout. Oh, he got a timeout there? The player called the timeout. That's what happened. Okay. Number 24, Amir, that's a heads-up play. Yeah. 24 called it. Good call by the referee. Yeah, I was, guys, because he pointed at the baseline. I was like, it can't be a foul if it's yeah. on the baseline. Yeah, I'm with you. I, I wasn't sure what was happening there. Unless it was player control offensive, but that, that clearly wasn't the call. Turner had the right shot there. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, he, he took the time. He took the time, and he got the shot off. And he had a good shot, just didn't get the roll he won. In terms of the five seconds, you, you, you have if you break the plane of the defender where you're now running parallel with him to the basket, the five seconds resets, which I think Kylan Turner did several times. Yeah. So that call d it does, not, uh, does not work here. And that's why the jab step move, right? That's yeah. what you're trying to do is create that space. Or you have to be, I think, a wingspan apart. Yeah, basically three yards. Yeah, so I'm pr I'm pr I feel fairly confident he'd be did that several times. It's very hard to make a five-second call when he's dribble driving. You know what I mean? That's and a tough call. Out. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you better be sure of that call if you're going to make that call, especially in this situation. Now, 69. Referees don't want to determine no, the game either. No, and they shouldn't. Let the players determine it. One second left, 69's on the score. Uh, they put it back up to 1.9. Yep, that's enough time to dribble and shoot. That West, is. I think might finally full court press. I don't know if you remember that, but we had a play set up for this back in the day. I don't know if you remember all the way back then, but actually it was Jack's team, so. Back when, uh, what's his name from Baden took the shot for us? Zach Larkin? Yep. Point Zach eight seconds. Zach Larkin's a great player. So. Point 0.8 seconds. It was a pass to the half court. So uh. you're going to watch a pass to the half court. Here it comes. There's the big man coming up. Oh. There's the shot. He's got time. Nope. Underneath it. We're going to double overtime. Yeah. We might be here all night, Will. Wow. What, Fair got the shot. <laughs> <laughs> got the shot. 69 to 69. End of the first overtime. Uh, we'll be right back for the second overtime. Welcome back, Firebird fans, to the second overtime. 69-69, Lakota West hosting the Fairfield Indians in one heck of a ball game between the top of what the GMC has to offer. Well, I tell you what, I'm going to run out of my voice here in a minute. This is, it's an exciting basketball. And we're back again. Yep. And we've got a jump ball to start as usual. Brady will jump the ball against Mr. Rogers. Uh, Mr. Rogers, I think that's his third tip he won. <laughs> is that right? <laughs> I think he won, he won the last one. I think he won the first <laughs> one. Too. This is Coney. Coney over to Krim. Fairfield staying with their starters at this point in time, which makes all the sense in the world. There's Murphy for three. Has Just been a quiet a short, game with a great no rebound. Out. The shooter gets his own rebound. That, that can't happen. The biggest sin in basketball. The that shooter can't happen. getting his own rebound. You've got to box out. Yes. And that, unfortunately, would be Mr. Fussell's responsibility because he was guarding him. You've got to box the shooter after he takes the shot. Weber. Only two points, though. Plenty of time. West yep. has got to get a good shot. This is Turner. Turner good with move. a drive. Great opening. Easy. Oh, he's got to finish it. 
Oh, that might be off Fairfield. Yep. That's what the referee called. Yep, here it is on a replay. It's a great move by Turner. This is Layfield here getting some action in the second of the overtimes. Turner thinking, thinking, thinking. We got to go to the game. Uh, we'll go back to the game. No worries. All right, Turner kind of fixing the shorts. It's an open shot there in the paint. It's what you want. Just got to convert. Weber breaking back out. Layfield. Oh, that's not Layfield. That's Fossil. Sorry. This is Weber or uh, Turner. Christopher. Turner up top. The Dukovic for the screen. Oh, there's the Dukovic. Let's see if he gets involved. There's a step back three. A little short. Good shot, just a little short. West's got a D up here. 71 exactly 69. Wanted. Favorite got all the time in the world. They're up two. Are they going to dribble out a minute, minute and a half before West pressures? Nope, West is going to pressure. No, uh, maybe not. Two point game here. There's Fossil stepping out now. There's the drive, a little body on Weber. Unfortunately, I saw him, he got caught in the air. That's oh, going to be fouled on Fossil. Fossil. I think he hit him on the arm. Fairfield still not in the double bonus, one away. This is Krim. Now the fans like the ref. Big free throws. It's funny how that happens. You like the ref when he calls for you. Oh, yeah. There's Krim on the second one, in and out. Good box out from, wow. Oh, the foul on West. You know, you know, in this exact call, actually happened my senior year on senior night. Well, we had a player who boxed out just like that, and the guy tried to jump over the back, he fell down. It was actually Connor Howard, and they called a foul on him. And I will hate that call, and I hate that call too. How do you, how do you call a foul on someone who's boxing out? Right, and they're in contact with each other, fighting for position. And then you got to pick a side, and you pick the guy who wins the fight, right? Yeah. I mean, what you does you give he, the foul to that guy? What is he supposed to do there? Like, Lose? let him go when he jumps <laughs> over? Yeah. Like, let him jump over him? I don't know. Yeah, that's that's not a call you want to make down a stretch in an overtime game either. No. He can't be pushing him. I no. mean, he's great technique boxing out underneath. Yep. 73 to 69. That may be the difference in this game by that call. Because you're talking about possessions going back and forth now. And this is Murphy. One, possibly two big points. Two. Wow. Yep. Now we're at a five-point ball game, two possessions. Got to play the next play. Yep. Only, only five. Turner, good, a, good attack. Good drive. What wow. a nice move. Turner taking himself. Good offhand finish. You know, he, he gave the fake to one direction and finished with the other. It's a very Great nice move. move. West has got to step up in pressure. Yeah. Fussle on Krim. Krim can't foul, though. Sit down. Great defense. Oh, what Great a nice steal. defensive turnover. Wow. Great steal there by Fussell. Yep. Watch out, watch out. It's coming back at you. Here it comes. Got to foul that. You've got to foul that. You're right. There's no reason to leave that free basket. Turner has got to foul that, and Fussell cannot be nonchalant. Brady saw it. He hesitated for the pass. All right, this is Turner. West can't take time to nope. wait here. Time to go. Turner with the finish. No. The Dukovic can't get the rebound. Woods going the other way. Now Fairfield's in complete control of this game. They can kick yep. it back out and take their time. Logan Woods knows that he's taking it back out. Two point, two possession game. There it is, there's the movement. Good job by Coney moving around. Don't take the foul yet, take the clock. There's the reach, but no call. Wow. No, no call. There's Great a foul defense. that way. Yep. Uh, i tell you what, there should have been a foul call on West. There I was a reach in, by, I think, by Christopher that they didn't call, and then the missed basket, and now we get a foul here. Yep. Now. That could have been the game if you made that re reverse. That's right. And so here it is, right? It is what it is, 76-71. Make the two free throws, D up, and you're still in this game. One Down possession. One possession. This is huge. If you had put that away, it could have been the game. Yep. That turnover nearly cost West the game. Christopher. Yes, the, the shooter's roll. roll. A little more arc. Getting a little more arc. Got to get some momentum back on your side with these points, too. Now, if West happens to miss his free throw, we got to get the rebound. Got to get the rebound if you don't make this free throw. Oh. Ugh. Unfortunate. This is Woods. 
All Woods right. now the dribbler. Do you foul? You got a foul. You got two possessions almost. You got Woods a foul. Dribbling. There we go. Turner fouls. That that is such a great turnover by West. Or such a bad turnover by West, excuse me, after our steal. Yeah. If we would have gone down and scored, that's a four point swing. It cost From us. From a layup for, sure. for Fairfield to a bucket for us. Yep, Woods on the line. He's got he's a good shooter. Knocks it down. Pushes it to five. I think I think if he makes this West, you go down and go for a three. But wait, you've got three kids, three players shooting over 40%. Yep, you're down six. Down six, yeah, you got to get one I three point out of this. I would go for a three early. And if not, you better take the two right now. Yep. Here it comes. There it is. That's a good layup. That's a body foul, actually. Oh, wow, think, no call, but, but that's all right. Good finish. If you got a foul now, you got a foul now. Yep. Because you got two possessions still. There it is, there it is. All the back tap, ooh, nearly had him. Really needed the foul over here. Yep. Just wasting time. Yeah. Got a foul right away, that one. 37 seconds left, two possessions, 78-74, Fairfield. That's Christopher's third foul. Nobody at four yet for West, so that's hmm. good. And West players between Brady, uh, Dudukovic, and Turner all below, or two or less. So. Woods with a big free throw right there. It's not the guy you want to foul. Takes the game to five points. This is another big free throw. Yep, man. West got to take the ball, got to get a three, and then we got a foul right away. Yep. Got There's three. Turner. There's Turner. It's taking the two. Wow. And that's been rejected by Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. He said, get it out of my neighborhood, he told him. Wow. That is a swat. And you can hear the fans. You can hear the crowd. That is a momentum killer for yeah. West. Yeah. Uh-oh, we've got a we got a double technical. Another double technical. Yeah. One on uh, Fussell uh, and one on on uh, Krim. I'm 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 not sure if it was a is it had to be something talking. They had to be talking to each other. Yeah. You know, in that situation I think the referee could have just told him, hey, chill it. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. The warning's nice. Brady with a good pump fake. Oh, Ooh. he's going inside. Dudukovic going to take the three. Oh, good look. Good, good fight back by Dudukovic. He's trying for the wow. rebound. How does he make that? I tell you what, Dudukovic is hoping for an and one situation there. He leaned into him trying to get it, so he got the two pointer right. So now the game is down to four points. Still two possession. Seventeen seconds. That's so good hustle by Dudukovic to keep West hopes alive. That's the three you wanted to. I mean. Yeah, and West is going to have to foul right away. Honestly, I thought Brady pump fake, get him in the air, and go for a, a foul. Yep. Shoot the three, go for a foul. West has two choices here. They can actually foul right away, they can deny right away, and make sure the inbounds never gets in. If the inbounds never gets in, that's the, that's the secret here. Yep. But you know but what Fairfield will probably do? They'll probably launch it. Yep, that's the problem with denying, especially when you have a height advantage. I mean, Amir Rogers, 6'6", big wingspan. Yeah. Weber is tall, but still height advantage Fairfield. So if he gets if he so, gets open. So coming out of this, you're going to have some action down low to try and get a guy freed up. If he's not freed up, you're going to see Fairfield chuck it down. Yep, and it could be a guard taken off as well. Yeah. If you're face denying, you've got the leeway to go deep. Yeah. Now the clock doesn't start until the ball is actually touched or inbounds to the ground. So we will see what happens here. West looks to not be denying everybody. Some are denying, some are not. No deep. Oh, there's a double pass on yep. the outside. And that's a heads-up play by Fairfield. Oh, and a turnover. West looking for that turnover. They need a foul. There's the foul and a jump ball. What do we got? No, no, no. Amir Rogers called a timeout. That's another timeout call uh, from him. Wow. Smart, heady heads play. Heads-up play, yep. That's a good play. Heady play, heady play there. Who's got the possession arrow, Will? Can you tell from up there? It's gonna be, I can't see it's up It's going to be a West possession. Yeah, so so a jump ball favors West in this situation. We almost got that situation coming out of there. Yep, would have been. Could have yeah. been a huge swing. That's a heads-up play by Amir Rogers. West played good D there. I tell you, Rogers has been all around solid. You know, just very smart player. Yep. Doing the things that need to be done underneath and making the points that he needs to make. Rebounds, blocks. Doing everything. Sophomore. And I tell you, that's a rule not a lot of people know. You can pass the ball off a made basket. Yeah. Good setup by you Fairfield. Run the whole baseline. You can pass it as long as you're established behind the baseline. Right. And you catch it. 
It's a good setup by Fairfield, but an even better response by Lakota West, yep. forcing a turnover situation. And almost. I tell you, I like what they did. They they denied the guards, the ball handlers, and the free throw shooters, and let the big man go after. But they, yeah, they let. I'm not sure who Fussell was guarding there. Yeah. But Rogers ended up with the ball, so but that if, tells you. If I'm Dudukovic, I'm denying uh, uh, Logan over there. Woods. Yes. So you and got Pope too. Four and 33 here, Fairfield beat you. Yep, that's Pope, and that's uh, – Laconi's a pretty good ball hander, so you might see him come to the – but there's Pope. Foul now. Foul. Yep. That's the guy you want to foul. He hasn't been on the floor a lot. Yep. Number four is not up there. Pope's got two points today. That's it. So, hoping a cold hand at the line for West. Or for Fairfield, but for West, hoping that he's cold and misses them both. Pope at the line, shooting two. There's the first little short. That's why you foul him. Yeah. Now West has to get this rebound. Yep. If I'm Fairfield, I'm putting my guy in there. Some coaches will put him out for defense, but you've won several offensive rebounds off the free throws. Short. Ooh, gets the shooter's roll. roll. Five, still a solid case for West. A bucket keeps it to a, a, a one possession game. Weber in the inbounds. There's Turner, Turner just got to take it and go. No time. Throw it over to Weber, Weber to pull up for He's a three. He's got to take that three. Yes, he does. Oh! oh. Good board. West with a nice board. Christopher putting it That's back. That's going to be the game. And that will be the ball game. Heck 81 game. to 76, exciting finish. Heck of a game. Yes. You know, hats off to both teams. They played their hearts out, played good defense down the stretch, and fought, fought, fought. Fairfield hit their free throws down the stretch. Came I'll up clutch. I tell you what, great ending to the GMC season right now for Lakota West. And to the, some of these seniors. Yes. Well, thank you, Firebird fans. Uh, great working with you, Will Newen. And another season of regular regulation season, I should say, over. Now we're going to the tournament. But Lakota West falling short here, 76-81 to, to the Fairfield Indians. I'm Steve Newen, signing off for tonight. Good night, everybody.